Hey fish friends, how's it going? Hope you're doing well. Zenzo with Tazawa Tanks back with another video. So, um, I wasn't actually planning on filming today. Uh, my hair is a mess and, you know, I wasn't really uh, thinking about filming, but I was messing around with my 90 gallon and figured out something really cool. So I said, let me just grab my camera stuff real quick, set up, and uh, just shoot something quickly to share with you all. So if you watched my last video, you know that um, I picked up the, I picked up a uh, 90 gallon acrylic tank from uh, my friend's, uh, from my friend, basically my friend's daughter goes to a daycare and the daycare was remodeling and they had this tank to give away because they were remodeling. It's a 90 gallon acrylic tank. So I took the tank, I took the fish, I took the equipment. Anyway, the tank is terrible. It's scratched, horrible. So my thought was just to kind of use it as like a grow out tank. I didn't really care what it looked like. So no big deal. However, uh, last night, um, Joel and I, we were out to dinner. Um, Joel Korvisoski and Joel, and um, he was here in the fish room and we were kind of talking about, you know, my fish room and how it's just kind of like a work fish room and not really display tanks down here. But when, when he and I were touring at a fish store yesterday, um, a light bulb kind of went off. So I am going to do something different, I think, with this 90 gallon tank. I'm not going to reveal what I'm going to do yet. So uh, that will be um, in videos to come. But with that being said, it has to look better. It can't look like someone took a, just a rock and scratched back and forth on this tank, which is exactly what it looks like right now, which is probably what happened. So I'm going to uh, flip the camera around and show you what I'm going to do. So here's the acrylic tank. And as you can see, it's scratched really badly. And um, I just kind of have it taped off because it's going to be part of my demonstration. But you can see here, um, these scratches are super dark, super deep. And this is really not something that uh, easily would uh, polish off. Um, I'm thinking that they probably had one of those magnet uh, algae scrapers on there. It probably had a piece of gravel or rock. And one of the kids at the daycare took the, uh, took the magnet scraper and kind of went back and forth on the tank and obviously scratched the heck out of it. You can tell by the pattern that uh, it looks like some uh, four-year-old was scribbling on the wall. So um, anyway, that's probably what happened. Um, so obviously if you had a tank like this, you would not use this for display, but I'm gonna end up building a stand and using this tank for some kind of display to share with you guys in future videos. So I need to make this look a little better. All right, so how am I gonna make it look better? It scratched really badly. Well, if you look really closely over here at this little circle over here, you can see that it's definitely clearer there than it is at the other part of the tank. The reason why is for those of you that know, I'm kind of a car guy. I like working on cars. I work on all the cars here at home. And uh, I had this uh, stuff that's used to polish headlights. And I was using it on my daughter's car to make her headlights look a little bit brighter because after a few years, the plastic uh, kind of gets yellowed by the sun. They get kind of, uh, you know, wind burned essentially with dust and dirt and particles. And so um, every once in a while you can take a polish and polish off the headlights and make them look white and clear again, or not white, but crystal clear again. So anyway, I have a product that's not designed for fish tanks. It's designed for headlights. It's a uh, headlight restoration kit. It comes with a little uh, wheel that you attach, sponge wheel that you attach to a drill and a polish, etc. So anyway, um, I took this product, I did a little test over there in that corner, and as you can see, it looks a lot better. Now it's not perfect, but it's gonna be a lot better in my application. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna uh, hook all this stuff up and uh, do a quick little polish. I'll show you how quickly it works, and uh, then we can kind of look at the before and the after.
So obviously this is not, uh, you know, a perfect job. This is just me grabbing a headlight restoration kit and uh, kind of doing a quick little polish on the plastic. But as you can see, just in uh, maybe 60 seconds or so of applying this product with the, uh, the buffer and the drill, that uh, you can see where a lot of the scratches have gone away. So I was working just in this section here. And if you recall, previously it was scratched just like this down here. So again, it's not perfect. This was real quick and me just kind of doing a little section to show you what it looks like. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, not do it all right now, but over the next couple of days, I'm gonna kind of work on this section by section and get most of the front of this tank looking, you know, 80% better and uh, get some of the deeper scratches um, polished out a little bit. Obviously the finer scratches will go away. And um, then when you fill it with water, you're not gonna have that transition because the light won't be uh, reflecting through the crack and it will look a lot better. So um, anyway, uh, eventually I'll show you a, uh, an after in a few days uh, in another video so that you can see um, what the end result is. But anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys real quickly. And uh, hopefully this is helpful for you. If you have an acrylic tank that's showing some scratches, you can obviously get some type of acrylic polish. This is not fish safe. So I'm gonna have to take this tank back outside, thoroughly rinse it um, a few times to make sure that all the residue is out before I put um, clean water back in and treat it for fish. Okay, so I got a little impatient and uh, I know that I said I was gonna work on this uh, over the next few days and I will, um, but I just did another section here and I probably spent maybe about 10 minutes on this, uh, not even the whole section here, but I only went kind of from here down to right around here and back up. You can see right in this line, that's where the, uh, the blue masking tape was. So you can clearly see the difference between the polished side and the side that got scratched by the preschooler. So again, this is not a perfect job. This is nothing that I would wanna do um, as far as like, uh, you know, having a display tank in my living room. Obviously I would spend a lot more time and get some different polishes, but for the fish room, for the application that I'm gonna be doing, I think this is pretty good. Essentially, this was a throwaway tank, you know, that I could have used as a sump or a grow out tub for fry. And now by just spending a few minutes, I have polished off quite a bit of those scratches. And I think over the next couple days, as I do the rest of the tank, this is going to look a whole heck of a lot better. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Anyway, hopefully you found that video useful. I uh, apologize that uh, it's not quite as polished as some of my other videos just because I'm kind of a mess right now. But uh, if you like it, give it a thumbs up. If you don't like it, give it a thumbs down. Let me know, you know, hey, it's not my kind of video. Um, and if you have done some type of acrylic polish or some kind of DIY uh, system before for your own acrylic tanks, I would love to hear your methods. And uh, maybe that will be something I can try in the future. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.